Hey, what's going on, people? So, I'm getting, I'm doing some remodeling in my home, and um, I'm getting my uh, my attic remodeled. So I had um, some rewiring done, and um, <clears throat> the electricians they had to run wire from the basement down to the, I mean, from the attic down to the basement. So. You know, they've just ripped, <laughs> they've ripped my uh, walls open, you know, in order to run the wire. And I have to repair these walls. So I, you know, rather than pay somebody, someone else to do it, I'll do it myself. So, you know, going on YouTube and seeing how this plaster process works. So what I have here, I installed... <clears throat> I installed metal lath on my plaster. I mean, on on the uh, wood lath, and I'm using um, I don't know if you can see. I'm using brass screws to attach, um, rather than using iron screws or uh, some sort of screws that will rust. So I'm using brass screws. They're less likely to rust. I mean, they're not going to rust. Um, underneath the plaster so in like 40 years if this house is still here um you know the screws will still be in and it, they won't rust so this home was built in the i guess in the 40s and it you you know it's a plaster lath home so i'm rather than uh you know putting a drywall patch there i rather just keep the, the same integrity and uh, use uh, plaster um, to patch the home. So <clears throat> this is basically, you know, what I'm doing, just showing in case somebody needs to see this. So I, I attach the metal lath to the wood lath using brass screws. And I'm using this uh, Dremel multi-tool. So this Dremel, so it has a um, <clears throat> it has a grout removal attachment. And uh, this is great for <clears throat> just cutting through plaster without damaging the lath underneath. So it gives me clean cuts. Um, the, the electricians, they just went in with a sawzall and you know just rip through and cut whatever so i had to widen widen the cut in order to um attach my metal lath and uh yeah so this is a great tool for cutting through plaster this uh dremel multimax i recommend it for people who are DIYers, do it yourselfers and um you know need to uh, do some plaster repair uh, so that's it. I mean, you know, I'm going to be doing the plaster after I have a couple more holes to patch up and, uh, I'll be, um, plastering them. But, um, you know, basically I want to show someone since I wasn't able to find any videos. Um, I mean, I saw other videos of, of people who are doing, uh, cutting plaster in other ways. But uh, I haven't seen any using um, these oscillating tools with the grout um, grout removal bit. So I would recommend this particular um, tool. It doesn't have to be a Dremel, but um, yeah, this works like it, it works very quickly. It's neat. It makes clean cuts, and um, yeah. So I would recommend that if you're doing any plaster repair or uh, need to cut through plaster, um, you know, use this uh, Dremel or any sort of oscillating tool with a grout, a grout removal uh, bit. And with that, I say peace.